And welcome back to another Electronics and More video. In today's video, I'll be showing you a very cool gadget. This one here is a must have for those of you in the business of repairing smartphones or other small electronic gadgets. This tool is also great for opticians and it will save you a lot of time getting a job done. As we all know, time is money. This is a high quality and higher priced gadget. As usual, a link has been placed in the video description area if you'd like to purchase one of these after watching the video. I also included a coupon code to save you some money. Okay, let's take a closer look at this, open it up, and then check it out. What this is, is a motion controlled electric screwdriver. It has a few different torque settings, and it also has a couple of different speed settings, and it's all adjusted by the motion of your hand. Let me open this up, take everything out of the box, show you what's included, and then show you how it works. Okay, everything's been removed from the box. You're looking at the contents of that box. You have the instruction manual, the electric motion control screwdriver. Over here are two 4 millimeter tips. 4 millimeter hex is referring to the end that goes inside the tool. If you want additional tips, they're very inexpensive and I'll post a link in the video description area. You're going to need them if you're going to be working on iPhones. There's special tips that are required, so it'll be very easy for you to use this tool with an iPhone. Inside here is a little chamois, and that's used to polish this tool, which has a stainless finish. And you also have this very nice canvas carry case to put the tool inside of. And you can see right there, the tool would go right in the middle under this big section. And then you have another area here, there, and there to put the tips. Now let's take a closer look at the tool and let me explain the different modes and give you some demonstrations of how it works. Okay, it's very, very nicely designed, fits very comfortably in your hand, and it does have some weight. I'm going to give you a weight reading in a minute on my digital scale. Let's take a look at the length right around five and an eighth inches and centimeters you're looking at 13. The diameter of the thick end is right around 1.6 centimeters and this end is around 1.4 centimeters. The display that's used is an OLED display and right over here is the push button that's used to power up the screwdriver. Now the weight of this right here. This is on ounces. Three point eight three ounces. This electric screwdriver has an internal lithium polymer battery and it's located right over here. I'll show you right now underneath where you plug in the micro USB to charge it. And you can see it right over there. Very simple to replace later on if this ever becomes worn out. Just cut the red and black, slide this board out, put the new battery in and you're good to go, but it should last a long time before you ever have to consider doing that. Okay, it's all the way back down. Now this is the end that rotates. You can use this as a ordinary screwdriver by hand by simply sliding in the tip. It's magnetic. Pulled it right in use it as a screwdriver without the electric feature, Phillips, slot, or whatever you desire. And if you'd like to use it electronically, you push the button once. Right here you can see there's a screw and it says the mode it's in, which is letter A. And over there where the battery was, 
shows the battery indication, full charge. This automatically turns off if it's not used, like you just saw. When the battery has been depleted, it takes approximately 40 minutes to recharge. You can expect about an hour of constant use, meaning use it, let go, use it, let go, before you have to charge it again. If you just push it and hold it down, let it run non-stop, clearly it's not going to last an hour. Now with mode A, what happens when you rotate your hand like this, all right? If you rotate just a little bit, this is going to spin very slowly. The more you rotate your hand, the faster it's going to spin. This is really a cool thing because you can precisely adjust the amount of speed and torque that's required on a screw using only the motion of your hand. Now the other settings, let me show you how to get between them. So you push this button once and there's a screw, right? Now when you're screwing something in, the screw is going to move down. When you're unscrewing something, it's going to move up. So let me just show you this way without blocking it. Push the button. More rotation in my hand. Move my hand back. Super, super cool. Like I said, you don't have to use it electronically. You just turn it by hand. And it works in any direction, up, left, right, down. Everything works just fine. Now to switch between modes, you would push the button, turn it on, letter A, click it three times fast, and now you see the modes. So when you click it three times fast, you've got to be prepared to immediately change the setting. So let's move it to one. Okay. Now on one, this does not have a variable speed based on the rotation of your hand. The way this one works, it's the highest torque setting. So it's really going to crank down on that screw until a high enough torque has been reached in order to turn off the screwdriver. Now that we're in mode one, let me turn it on. So now you're going to hold it, push the button, rotate clockwise, you see it's one speed, and if I try stopping it, it's very, very difficult to stop. Now I want to go the other direction. Whoops. It's got a very high torque setting. It does stop if you squeeze it hard enough. Now if I go to the number two setting, right there, let's try it again. Right there it stopped. And it stopped right there. Still very difficult to stop, but it stopped. Let's go to number three. This right here is a moderate setting. See, it stopped easier. And you put it on the lowest, number four. Try it again. And it stops very easy. So if you're working on an electronic device and you don't want to put too much torque, push the button clockwise. Once it gets down, boom, stops. Really a great, great tool. Okay, let me give you a quick demonstration using a Galaxy phone. The tool is set to the A setting that I prefer. I usually use A or number 4 on a screw like this because I don't want to strip it. Let's put this inside this Phillips right over here. Push the button and then rotate my hand. And that's it, it's out. Alright, so I can push right back here. Same thing, rotate clockwise. And there you go. So let's go over here.
doesn't come out, apply more torque. There it goes. Now let's put it back in using the torque setting, which is number four. Okay. And it should stop automatically. That's it. Perfecto. Every single one of these will have the same torque when putting everything back together. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.